launching the long-awaited incentivized testnet, the RNH testnet, on September the 19th. So if you want to know more about Quai Network, the testnet it's launching, and the incentives, stay tuned for this video. So we'll start with what Quai Network is. It is a layer 1 EVM-compatible blockchain. So what it means, you can build on top of it any dApps and applications, and that is going to be a part of the testnet. The value proposition and the core objective is the same as that in Bitcoin to become the digital cash. However, the TPS of Quai Network actually allow it to be the digital cash and support the global commerce because Bitcoin is not really doing it at the moment with its 6 TPS. So how does Quai Network do it? It uses a special mechanism called sharding. Sharding is not novel. It has been discussed by Satoshi Nakamoto himself a long, long time ago. However, not many chains are implementing it properly. Quai Network uses sharding and a special architecture called the I don't even know how to call it, put it in a nice way, but as I said, it's a multi-threaded network. You can think of it as like there is a layer one, it has three layer twos on top of it, and then each layer two has three layer threes on there. So you can imagine how much the scalability is improved in comparison with other monolithic blockchains, which are just one layer one blockchain. The benefit of having just all of this in one network, so having all the chains within Quai Network instead of, let's say, Ethereum with layer 2s on top of that, is that you don't need any kind of bridges to communicate between the chains within Quai Network. The process by which the chains are communicating is called merged mining. I have a bit of a technical explanation of Quai and merged mining and all the technicalities in another video that you can watch by the link in the description, but basically merged mining means that instead of mining one blockchain, you are mining at least three blockchains at the same time. Now for the testnet. The Iron Age is going to be the third out of five planned testnets for Quai Network. The mainnet is planned either in Q4 this year or in Q1 next year, at least as it stands for now. There are many new developments since the previous testnet, the Bronze Age testnet that was in February 2021, and the main development is of course the brand new consensus algorithm called Proof of Entropy Minima. That is also a proof of work based consensus, however, it is tuned specifically to allow this charting to work smoothly, and charting and hence infinite scaling, and uh, we shall see how this will all work out. I'm honestly, personally very excited to see that. There are going to be tutorials on how to set up a mining node or how to develop something on Quai Network. They're all going to be published on Quai YouTube channel. However, if you would like to see a video from me as well, just let me know in the comments and I'll be glad to make one. For the incentives, in total 12 million Quai tokens are allocated for the Iron H testnet, 8 million of those are for the miners and 4 million are for the developers. And the Incentives for the developers are divided into five sections based on the different types of applications that are being developed. So let's get over them real quick. I have them on my laptop right here. Let's start with DEXs. They have the total allocation of 1.1 million Quai tokens, and there are going to be three top places. So three top projects will receive all this 1.1 million Quai. And uh, they are going to be judged based on the volume of testnet quai that the contract processes, as well as the total amount of testnet quai locked in their contracts. So it's mostly volume based, and uh, these metrics are aimed to represent how much the DEX is used. The project that ranks first receives 600,000 quai, and that is going to be mainnet quai one to one, which is a very big number. So the, the incentives to run on there is very high. And then the second place receives 350,000, and the third place receives 150,000 mainnet Kauai. Now let's go to the NFT marketplaces that have basically the same incentives as the DEXs, so also 1.1 million allocated to them with 600,000 for the first place, 350,000 for the second, and 150,000 for the third place, and this all is in mainnet Kauai. And how the NFT marketplaces are going to be judged is slightly different because, the, yes, it's also the volume of testnet quai that the contracts process. However, it is also the number of sales of NFTs that is on that and, uh, NFT marketplace. Speaking of NFTs, let's go to the NFT project incentives. The total allocation for those is 350,000. There are five places, so five NFT projects are going to divide this allocation. The first place receives 150,000 mainnet quai. The second one is 100,000 mainnet quai. The third one is 50,000. The fourth and the fifth one receive 25,000 each. All of this in mainnet quai, as I already said. 
and the judgment is going to be also based on the kind of popularity of the NFT project and that is going to be judged based on the number of unique holders, number of sales of the NFTs and the testnet qui volume processed by uh, the NFT contract as well as the pro floor price in a testnet qui if that's going to be available. An additional incentive for the first place is also going to be the placement of the minting button alongside the qui faucet so many many people who use a faucet are also going to be seeing the possibility to mint your NFT. The next incentive vertical is the ERC20 projects. It has the same allocation as the NFT projects, so 350,000 with 150,000 of mainnet Kwai for the first place, 100k for the second, 50k for the third, 25k for the fourth, and 25k for the fifth. This all in mainnet Kwai, as I already said multiple times. And uh, it's going to be judged basically on similar things. The volume of testnet qui process, the amount of testnet qui locked in the liquidity pools, and the market capitalization in testnet qui. The last but by no means the least allocation is for GameFi projects, and the total big chunk for it is 1.1 million mainnet qui. The allocation is quite interesting, it's not uh, it's unlike any other vertical. There are five places. The first one receives 500,000 mainnet qui, the second place received 300k. Third place received 100k, same for fourth and fifth, also 100k each. The GameFi projects are going to be judged based on the amount of testnet qui processed by their contract or contracts, as well as the user count. And yeah, that's basically it also to evaluate the popularity of the GameFi projects that you have built. Additionally, to all the criteria that I mentioned, the projects are going to be judged based on their social presence. So you have to really crank up on Twitter, Discord, whenever possible, and just increase your social presence as much as possible to get that main at Quai. To help you with that, Quai Network developed an ecosystem page where you have to submit your project first and after approval, everybody is going to be seeing your project on that page and then you can be considered for the rewards as well. If you are not a developer or a miner and uh, these incentives did not really inspire you to become one, you are probably going to participate in the user incentives, which are planned after the developer's incentives are launched. So those are going to be carried out through the Quai Network Galaxy space. It is already live and available and has certain social media type related tasks, which are not really testnet. However, testnet tasks are also going to be there as well. And that is at least planned for the testnet in the future. And last thing to keep in mind is that just like with any other project, you'll have to pass a KYC to receive your mainnet Quai in the future. And that's all I have for you for this video. I hope you found it useful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And if you would like to see more information, go into the description. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.